What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie 298 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. My house is a mess, which was a bad time to have a guest, but I do have a guest. Who is that? Is that Jacob the Carpetbagger? It's okay, man. I live in a garbage-filled car. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me. We're driving to Eureka Springs today to go see some lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Oh, my. And uh, that's what we're doing. So I think we're also going to hang out and play some magic and eat some food. In fact, I'm going to be honest with you. Jacob's been here for a day, but I just wanted to hang out. <laughs> but I thought we should film too. Leo's on his little pin while we're gone. You ready to go to Eureka Springs? I am. Are you ready to eat good food? Oh, I like food. Ooh, let's go eat good food. Oh my God, Jacob! Yeah, what are you so excited I about? I love tigers. Look at, are you? Look at, what? Look at, look at oh my God, there's a tiger. There's a oh, tiger right there. Look at that white. You, let me tell you something. You do not want to cuddle that. Oh, he wants to cuddle me. So they are wild animals. And if you didn't see my previous video, we learned last time that you do not want to be in a cage with one of these sons of guns. Even the trainers don't want to be in guns in a cage because they will crack your skull open like a grape. Not my skull. Dude, look at what, okay, over here. These are the toys that they give to the cats. Look at what they did to whatever this thing is. Look at this. That is a bowling they ball. did it and it cracked. Yeah. That, that's the kind of jaw strength we're talking about, Jacob. Do you, <laughs> you sure you want to go cuddle? Uh, still, yeah. No, I don't think so. Giant yellow balls. Right. Jacob, yes. um, so you decided to put your hood on, huh? Yes. And, uh, but you have a hat. So I have a hat. You, you see, we had to put your hat somewhere. I I, can't, I don't want to carry my hat because I'm afraid to drop it and the tiger will eat it. <laughs> so so you thought this was better than letting a tiger eat that hat, huh? I think so, yeah. You were wrong. <laughs> I will say I picked the wrong day to come because it is very cold here. And not only is it cold for me, but it's cold for the animals. Now the good news is the animals have a heated den to sleep in. This tram is not heated. So the animals are doing better than me and Jacob. Are you cold, Jacob? A little bit. Are you enjoying seeing the habitats and not the animals, though? We saw a few. Because they, we have seen a few. I will be honest, but it's cold. She needed to rehome, and we said yes, so we built as quickly as we could. Oh boy. Oh, I it's cold and, then, and not um, so great the out. This couple's trying to get some exercise. Beautiful. Look at those beautiful animals. Goodness gracious. So, this white tiger, this is Glacier. And they're actually prone to gigantism. And unfortunately, it can lead to a premature death. But we're really lucky it doesn't seem like any of our ligers have that problem. They're all really, really pretty. Ligers is very bad. Yeah, she was saying that ligers are not meant to exist because they're tigers and lions that would not normally breed in uh, anywhere but other in captivity. And there, I can see why people do it because they're beautiful animals, but it's not good for them. But wow! So that sound you're hearing is what's called the lion cattle. So, you know, here's the thing. Some of these kites, cats are famous because you would have seen some of them in Tiger King. She even said that one of the ones they got from the Tiger King rescue, one of the cats was even pregnant and gave birth here, which is not something they're normally equipped for because they don't breed the animals. But if you do 
find yourself in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and you do want to spend money on seeing some wild animals and big cats and stuff, know that this place is not for profit. It's all a rescue. It's all a refuge. And even some of those famous cats that were famously mistreated at the Tiger King Park, they're safe here. You can come see them in a much happier, healthier place. Oh my goodness. Well, you never want to see one of those in the wild. You're going to see one in real life. That's the way to do it. Woo! He's a big boy. Smaller than I thought he was going to be. But you look at that and you think about that Leonardo DiCaprio movie. When you see this in real life, I uh, let me tell you, I do not want to wrestle with him. Goodness gracious. He's about probably my size or bigger. I think yeah, probably bigger. Yeah, the match, he would definitely win. I think he'd win in the match against Andre the Giant. Goodness gracious. Hi there, beautiful. Hi. Well, you know, I'm more of a dog guy than a cat guy, but uh, right now, I'm a cat guy. For sure. Who's a fatty? Who's a big old fatty? He's a fatty like me. Yes, he is. We need to go on a diet together. <laughs> Many too many berries. Now I brought you out here for a very specific reason. Uh, Jacob, do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Uh, not right, not right now. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> Jesus, I'm sorry. He's a really busy guy. Uh, oops. Seriously, I don't mean to be sacrilegious, but we're at the Passion Play here in Arkansas, and that is a big Jesus. And I will say what's really cool about him is especially at night when it's all lit up, no matter where you are in Eureka Sphinx, you can see him with his arms flared out. And I don't know, it's just a, one of the very few landmarks in Arkansas. But it's a cool one. It's a pretty cool one. I love this about Jacob. If you don't watch Jacob's videos, you should. Because there he is, getting his drone ready to go up and see the, the Jesus from a really cool point of view that you won't get to see in most videos. You won't see in mine. So I'll link his video down below probably, or just go to his channel, Jacob the Carpetbagger. And you get to see the top of Jesus. So we've stepped into the gift shop for the Passion Play. I've never been in here. I wonder what kind of Jesus merch you can get. And I wonder if it's as cool as my merch. Here's a shirt. It says, catch up with Jesus. Matthew Mustard Seed Faith. You can relish sweet Jesus as well. So I, uh, wow. Those are shirts for sure. Sitting here at the Passion Play, and I've never bought anything from these guys. I've been coming here for free for years, so I actually got, it's in this box, but a tiny replica. Jesus, Jacob, you got one too, didn't I you? I got one too, yeah. That's a, that's a cool little keepsake. It's so affordable too, it's like seven fifty. Yeah, I was about a box. That's crazy. All right, so now my little, Jesus my own, and I finally supported this place after years of free entertainment. Behind the scenes footage, camera on the ground, and Jacob is crawling up into the Spartan and is a... Uh... Hey, I think <laughs> I'm Goliath. <laughs> wow, this is kind of crazy, but I didn't even know this was back here. But if you step back here, it's like you're stepping back into time. Goodness gracious. I had no clue they even built anything like this. I wonder what it's like when it's not off season. And look at this. Noah's Ark Park Petting Zoo. And unfortunately, it's currently not accessible. They've got everything locked down, but... Whoa! Is that a peacock? Pigeons? There are so many birds! And I'm like inches away from them. Wow! Is that a duck? What are they? Oh, look at that. Why are they within touching distance? <laughs> what? Like a pigeon hut. Look at the dove. Is that a like dove? Like pigeons? I love uh, those doves or pigeons. Oh, maybe they're doves. There's oh, pigeons. Those, I think, probably, are doves. Probably doves. doves. Maybe. <laughs> that's, that's definitely a rooster. Is it a rooster? I think I heard a cock. So many peacocks. Look at that peacock. Look at that peacock. Look at that peacock. Look at that peacock. There's another peacock. 
And there's a big tall peacock. Wow! Just kidding, by the way. I know this isn't a peacock. I know that's actually a camel. Just kidding, Salama. Look at these sheep. What kind of noise are they making? I thought they were supposed to bleat, not moo. <laughs> they make vomiting, <laughs> vomiting noises. <laughs> make, do, do your best. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. Look at that peacock! More behind the scenes stuff, by the way. Jacob is now going to unbox for YouTube. Let me start. A little more behind the scenes here. Jacob is now filming himself in the car, unboxing his Jesus. And I thought you might want to see that. So here we go. Here we go. It's Jesus time. All right. So I actually made a little purchase there inside of the gift shop. I thought this was really cool. Actually get a replica of Christ of the Ozarks. It's actually really cheap. It was like uh, eight bucks, but it's super cool. So I got my own little Christ of the Ozarks to take back to a bunker with me. Yeah. So we're driving through downtown Eureka to get to the Crescent and we drove past this store and Jacob goes, oh my God, they have taxidermy there said we had to stop to look at the dead animals. That's kind of cool. Look at this silly coyote here. He's eating an antler. Yeah. Well, some little dude has here, have here. Yeah, this is a shotgun shell knife and a switchblade comb. Shotgun shell knife. Man, I love clocks for some reason. And I feel like I should get one of these clocks because everybody keeps calling me cuckoo. Look at these weird clocks. That one's a robot. That one's a rocket ship. I have a, I have a clock on my phone, so I'm a little weird. Jacob, look up. This is why I brought you here. What? We get to get married. I, oh, wait, it says most marriages performed. I don't think they do YouTuber weddings. No YouTuber weddings? Sorry, man. So what do you think of this old time photo place? Have you ever done an old time photo like this? Uh, I have, I'm not here, but at other places, yeah. Yeah, well maybe we should do it. Like look how cool it is in there. Oh, look at this sign. It says no stupid people. Jacob, I can't go in there. I'm sorry, Boogie. Damn it. So this is a place I wanted to take you. Check that out. It's the Palace Hotel and Bathhouse. What do you think? Uh, what are we, are we gonna take a bath here? Yeah, we can take a bath here if you wanted to. Um, what's that sign look like to you though, Jacob? Huh? Um, it looks like a um, a rocket ship. Yeah, that's it. Rocket ship. You see the little two gas tanks down at the bottom, and then the little head on top. That it's a penis. So unfortunately, there's nowhere to park where I'm currently at. This is a road. But Jacob found this. I've never found this in Eureka Springs. And it's a creepy, flooded, catacomby thing. But I was really surprised by, there is a freaking water fountain. Do you see it? Look at that. Is that a springs water fountain? Can you drink spring water? Oh my gosh. I wish I could get out of the car and go look. Jacob's down in there. What the hell? Terrifying. So Jacob, you've seen the giant Jesus. Yeah. You've seen the Walmart Museum. Yeah. You've even seen my home. Yeah. But here's the piece de resistance. Yeah. The most haunted hotel, not in Arkansas, but in America. America? It's right here behind you. That's the Crescent Motel. Do you know what this place used to be? No. It used to be a cancer hospital, but not just any cancer hospital, a fraudulent one, a con man pretended he could cure any type of cancer. And he couldn't? Had people come from all over the country and then simply didn't treat them and took their money and watched them die of cancer. Hundreds, if not thousands of people died brutally and meaninglessly due to a con man's negligence in the rooms you're about to walk into. Do you want to go in? <laughs> oh yeah, cool. Jacob? Yes. Now, I know you're here for the creep factor. There's nothing creepier than getting into this tiny elevator with a 400 pound man. <laughs> you very well could die today. All right, let's go to four. We went to four, I pressed four. So we're going up. What a tiny elevator. Let's see if we can even, oh, wait, what happened? Oh, what? 
right, four, four, four. That was, that four, was four. almost spooky, ghostly. Yeah. Yeah. Just to give you an idea how tiny, right, so we're going. tiny, we're tiny, tiny up. this elevator is. That's Jacob, but he's taking up half of it. Are we going up or down? Uh, I think up. That says up. Okay. Because it felt like down. Okay. <sighs> All right, buddy. <laughs> I, I'm a little claustrophobic, just a little bit. And we are too fat for this elevator. Let's a nice elevator ride through here. Oh, okay. It's certified by the state of Arkansas. And we both know the state of Arkansas never makes mistakes. No. Yeah, they're perfect in every way. Let me out of this death box. So currently, out back, for such a scary place, it's actually quite lively. Down by the pool, they're doing oh, hatchet cool, throwing. Right? Yes, yeah, a nice little pool, actually. They do hatchet throwing and darts and lawn darts and giant lawn toys and crazy stuff. I mean, during the day, this place is actually really nice. They even have a nice little spa. It's only at night that it gets creepy, but <laughs> it gets creepy. Trust me, I stayed here, and I ain't staying here again. Play a little bit of Jenga here while I wait for Jacob to explore the grounds and check out the hatch. What is that? Is that a ghost? Jeez. Oh, it's Jacob. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's just Jacob. Jacob. Hmm. You own a bunch of cats. Why are you excited to see this? I'm cat? excited to see any cat. You saw tigers and lions today, and now you're excited about I'm this. I'm still excited. House cat? I mean, it is kind of a famous cat because it it haunts this hotel. Is it of. a ghost cat? I think it's a live cat. For now, but one day its ghost will roam these halls. We're now entering the Crescent College for Women. Conservatory. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It just looks like a, a dining hall. I think if you wanted to get married here, this would probably be how it would be decked out. And gosh, it is nicer than where we had my actual reception. Oh, it's beautiful in here. Wow. Amazing. That's the weirdest unicorn I've ever seen. Oh, it's a time capsule. Yeah, that makes way more sense. It's open. Jacob is exploring the area. Let me know if you see any ghosts, but every time I'm here, I'm always amazed by how creepy these paintings are. And maybe they were done by local artists or something. Oh, look, it's Sammy. I hope Sammy's not dead and now inside the painting. I should go home and check on Sammy. And there you go, all the way down. We're on floor four. And I think technically, it's five floors because there's a basement all the way there. That's where the spa is. But no ghosts so far. Yeah, look at Eureka Springs. We're from the balcony to the fourth floor. Beautiful stay. You can see the giant lawn games, people in the pool. Hope that's a heated pool. It better be. Oh yeah, it's steamy. Mm -hmm. And I think at night you can see the Jesus, but I don't know where he is right now. I think you can see him from here. I just don't know where his current location is. Is that it? Over there? No. Let's see, I'll scan the horizon, zoomed all the way in. And you guys tell me, do you see the Jesus? I feel like it's over here on the left side. Maybe. Found it, I had to lean back. The tree was oh, blocking gosh. it, <laughs> but there he is. Yeah, let me, let me. Oh, Jesus, my spot. Jesus. So, Jacob. Yeah. Here's one of the ghost stories from the ghost tour that I got for free. Okay. And it involves the spot you were standing on. Okay. Apparently, a jilted lover, a young woman who got left at the altar, came to the Crescent Hotel, and from where you're currently standing, took a running leap. Yeah from presumably right there over the railing crushing her body down here below and on the ghost tour they told us that sometimes mostly during the anniversary of her death if you're standing there out in the courtyard you can see her ghost recreate it jumping off the... it happens a few times a year but most notably on the anniversary of her death do you know what the anniversary of her death is Oh, I can't remember. They told me. What if me, it was I don't tonight? Oh, what if I throw myself off of here? 
I'd be really sad. Okay. Oh, but then I could haunt it and you could come visit. <laughs> yeah, I could visit you forever. Yeah. So here's the themed menu for the restaurant. And that would be, I presume, the evil doctor. And when you take a look at the food, it is uh, edgy, I should say. Uh, you can get a rib removal. You get a soothing cream remedy. Really. I, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. You know my sense of humor is dark, but uh, at least that's french fries and normal. So I recognize the room we're in front of. And I recognize it because look at that creepy ceiling fan. What? See how it kind of sways back and forth? Or appears to be swaying back and forth? Like, it's definitely moving, right? Yeah, it's moving. Why don't they fix that? It's been doing that for four years. But we stood right here, and in my video, he told me the story about the woman who haunts this room. And apparently, she's a, not a misogynist, but she hates men. And so when a woman stays in a room or a couple stays in a room, she's always really nice to the woman. But if the man's kind of thick-headed, bull-headed and mean, she'll be mean to him. Oh, in fact, mean to him. it's been even told that he'll, she'll help unpack a nice lady who's in the room, but she'll pack up the things of a man who's trying to stay in the room and try to kick him out. Man hater. Yeah, they'll come back to stuff being moved around and knocked around and Oh, I don't know if that's real or not, but that's what they say. Is that a ghost painting? Do you guys hear a baby crying? This hotel is almost about empty. I... What are the chances? I'm running away, but I'm not running away because I think it's a ghost. I'm running away because I think it's a person with a baby and I'm being a creep. Just so you know, this window is not for normal exiting. This is for emergency exits only. So if you just want to leave the hotel, you're not allowed to use that ladder. Oh, hey, my car. So the last time I was here, I think I remember showing you guys a storybook that had the cat on it. That's not available, I think, anymore, but this shirt with a cat on it is. Hey, kitty, you're famous. You're on a shirt. Oh, uh, you know. I might have sold more shirts than him, but uh, link in the description box. The desk of Norman Baker, famous for his eccentric behavior and known to always have numerous business interests working at the same instant. This Baker desk symbolizes both traits. Previously six-sided with a separate, a separate company in each section, Baker used this desk from 37 to 39 in the hotel in the room that is now the governor's suite bedroom. Yeah, that's creepy. It's weird that he had an HP computer back then, though. I don't think he actually did. Oh, God, is that a ghost? <laughs> Sitting in Dr. Baker's desk there, Bogey? Oh, yeah. I have great news. What's that? I've cured every type of cancer ever. One million dollars, please. Okay, they did that on purpose. I looked up right there, and I realized there was someone staring at me. And it kind of looks like Jesus. But that is creepy. Why did they do that? Jacob. Yes. Now I told you there was amazing food in Eureka. And we ended up eating at the Crescent Bar. Yes. And we got this. Look at this. This is a Crescent Calzone filled with meats and veggies. But it's shaped like a Crescent since we're at the Crescent Hotel. And look, it's been murdered. They stabbed it with a knife. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. But I'm gonna eat it anyway because I'm hungry. Well, it's nice to be home after a long day. We did a lot of stuff. Jacob, what all did we do what today? We, we saw some uh, some tigers, some yeah. lions. And bears, oh my. There was a tiger and a lion that were married to each other. And there was a liger a and a, a tion. And they shouldn't exist. And they shouldn't exist. And there was a li lion, which is weird. I don't know. Then we saw a giant Jesus. And we went shopping downtown where Lyle Lovitz was. We didn't even film that. Lyle Lovitz was just in town. Yeah, we saw his tour bus. Then we went to a haunted hotel in Eureka Springs. You saw the Eureka, you saw the springs in Eureka. Yeah. And so now 
two years ago, I invited you. I said, come to Northwest Arkansas. I know you've been here before, but come back and let me show you the stuff you missed. Now that you've done it, Jacob, are you glad you finally did it? Yeah, I love, I love Eureka Springs. Amazing. Right. And I always tell people, it's this little slice of heaven in Arkansas, of all places. Why would it be here? But it is. And it's so unique. I mean, you've been all over the country. Yes. Did you, have you found anything exactly like Eureka Springs? No, it's very, very unique. Yeah, very there's unique. nothing like it. The culture is weird because it's this mix of LGBTQ and also Christian, and you got the passion play, the pride flags flying everywhere, and a bathhouse that looks like a dick. I mean, it's kind of really cool. And if you like animals, and there's stuff you didn't even get to do, Jacob. We didn't get to do the drive throughs do where you yeah, feed clothes, emos clothes, out of the yeah. windows. You didn't get to ride the train in Eureka Springs. There's things for you to come back and do, and I would love it if you did. And I got to tell you, if you're ever in Northwest Arkansas, you maybe can't do it with me hanging out with you, but I'm in Eureka all the time, and I think you should be too. It's so worth visiting, and I'm so lucky to have it in my backyard. I mean, it's not Disneyland, but if you're a hillbilly like me, you're going to love it. Or even if you're a carpetbagger like this son of a gun. Jacob, can I say thank you for staying at my oh, place? Thank you for me. I am so grateful you took the time to do this. I was supposed to meet him in St. Louis or Trans World this year, and due to a family emergency, I wasn't able to do it. And he was already considering coming, but he, he actually did it. I've had Adam here, and now I've had Jacob here. And boy, I, you would never think I finally was able to do that. I wish I could have all of you here. But that said, let me wrap up the video. Thank you for joining me on today's adventure. I really had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I hope to do more stuff like this, vlogging stuff that also involves not just sitting in front of a camera. If you like it, do me a favor, drop a like down below, feed the algorithm, hit that notification bell so you can watch more videos like this in the future. And merch link is down below. If you like this shirt that I showed a couple of times in the video, you can pick it up, $26. Not bad for a t-shirt, $9 goes into my pocket and some of it even goes to Ukraine relief. I'm still trying to recoup that money that I lost due to legal fees and everything else from getting screwed over by the law. And uh, I would love it if you helped out of that. Don't forget, Jacob's videos got very similar views of everything we did here today, including stuff I didn't get caught in line. And I think you'll be glad you watched it. Link down there below, as always, guys. Thanks for watching. I love you very much. And I'll see you in Eureka Springs.